let's quickly go on point number three is the salvation of one leads us to salvation of many salvation of one leads us to salvation of many we see when Mordecai saves a life of a king it promoted him eventually to save a life of the whole ethnic group a people who save cities are the people who first save souls we must enlarge our vision and our vision cannot just be to save myself my family it starts there but it has to also encompass everyone in our city and everyone in our region now people may accuse us of thinking too big not being down to earth having our mind in the sky why did Mordecai aim to save the whole ethnic group? Well did he have the resources for that? Was he anointed for that? Did he have the connections for that? No. Did you know why Mordecai had to keep a big vision? He was trying to keep up with his enemy's plans. I want you to write this down. The scope of Satan's plan is the clue of the size of our vision. The scope of Satan's plan is the clue to the size of our vision. Let me ask you a question. How many cities Satan has on his plan to attack in our city? How many people? Does he come up in the morning and say, I am so tired, you know what, it's been 6,000 years. I'm just sick and tired of tormenting these people. You know what? I'm just going to take a vacation and I'm going to leave Tri Cities alone. If Satan ever says that, I'm going to tell you how many people we're going to save. Zero. Because everybody's going to be fine. If Satan comes to our city and says, I'm so busy with Africa, India, Siberia. I'm so busy with destroying North Korea. I'm so, Afri I'm so busy there. I'm just going to send just few people, few demons to destroy just, just the middle school. And that's it. I'll leave the high schools alone. They're not going to be raping one another, hurting one another, cutting themselves, skipping school. They're not going to be sleeping around. They're not going to be doing all of these sins. They're not going to be drive-by shootings. None of that will happen in high school. Only middle schoolers will have problems. Then our vision is only for middle school unfortunately Satan's plan is a little bit bigger than that he has a plan for the kids for the teenagers for the high schoolers for college students he has the plan for the young adults who are in college and university he has the plan for those who just got married he has the plan for those who have kids he has plan for those who are empty nesters he has plan for the grandpas and grandmas and that's the size of our vision it has to be consistent with the scope of Satan's plan we cannot afford to think smaller than Satan's thinking. He spreads his web on the whole city and we have to spread our vision on the whole city. You may say, how could we do it? It's funny how Satan doesn't ask those questions. He comes on God's territory. He's a lesser than God. And he doesn't ask the question, how can I destroy people if God owns this earth? He still does it. And demons help him. If we don't focus on how but we say our God is on our side and we will fight the enemy and we will have a big vision to see our people, our city and our ethnic group serve God. The Holy Spirit will give us the power. If Mordecai can do it, my friends, we will do it as well. Can somebody say amen? Our cities are for God. Try cities is for Jesus. Young generation is for Jesus. Teenagers is not for drugs, self-mutilation and abuse. Teenagers are for Jesus Christ. Young adults is not for sleeping around AIDS and all kinds of sin. It is for Jesus. I know some of you may be looking and saying, well, you don't know man, you don't know man. No, you don't know man. My God is bigger. And those demons tormenting people's lives, they are smaller and with God we will overcome. Can somebody say amen? People with vision will conquer and you and I are the person of vision. Can somebody say amen?